Hydrogen 6. Today is the second part of our revision. Let's start with the first example here. First example is said, simplify. I have here a fraction consists of numerator and denominator. The in the numerator, 5 power 7 times 3 power 3 or 3 cubed over 3 power 2 or 3 squared times 5 power 3, 5 cubed. I need to simplify this fraction to the simplest form. Here, as we said before, if you look here, you have here 5 power 7, oh, my base is 5, here the base is 3, the base is 3, and the base is 5. We said before, look to the bases. If you have bases equal, look, make, look to the power. And if you need to multiply two equal bases, add the power. And if you need to divide equal bases, subtract the power. Here, if you look, you have here base 5 and base 5. One in the numerator and one in the denominator. So, we have to subtract the power. As we said before, look here. All bases here 5 and 3, 3 and 5, so your base is 5 and 3. Take 1, 5 and take 1, 3 and between them is times. First look to the 5. One is in the numerator and one and the second is the denominator. So you have here, you make divided and we said before, in powers, if you need to make divide equal bases, subtract the power. So I have here to write 7 minus 3 and here. Look to here, you have up 3 and you have down 2 divided, so I have to subtract the power. So I will write here 3 and down minus 2. So it will be 5, 7 minus 3 is 4, and 3 minus 2 is 1. We said before, we said before, if you have power 1, you don't need to write it, you, you lift it as it, so it will be 3. If you put in your calculator 5 bar 4, it will be 625. 625 times 3. When you multiply 625 times 3, it will be 1875. It will be 1875. So, this is the simplest form of this. When we have here 5 power 7, 5 power 3, subtract the power 7 minus 3 will be 4. Here, subtract the power of base 3, so it will be 3 minus 2 is 1. 5 power 4, it's mean 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 repeated 4 times by times. So it will be here, 5 power 4 will be 625 times 3, it will be 1875. Let's move to example number 2. Example number 2 said, find the solution set of the following in z. Find the following solution set in integers. If you look here, you have in number 1, 2, inside the bracket x minus 2, equal absolute value of negative 10. You know that, if you look here, what is the absolute of negative 10? You know that absolute eat in negative. So absolute value of negative 10 will be 10. And here, you have to make put you have here 2 and bracket x minus 2 you have outside the bracket is 2 so you have to put this 2 inside the bracket and you don't have here any operation so you have to get it 2 inside the bracket by times so it will be 2 times x it will be 2x this is minus put it down 2 times 2 is 4 so it's a change it to an, an equation you can solve it very easily how can you solve it? We said before, if you have here mixed operation, you have here times and minus, move and minus first. So it will be here, 2x equal, put it 10, and before we go to the other side, it was minus, so it will be with plus. So it will be here, 2x equal 10 plus 4 is 14. Here you have an x, you, want, you need an x in one side, so 2 will go to the other side by division because it's here with times. So it will be here x equal 14 divided 2. And you know that 14 divided 2 is 7. So the value of x equal 7. He need the solution set. So I have to put 7 in the places of solution set. So it will be here solution set equal 7. Let's move to number B. Number B is said, 
3 smaller than or equal to x plus 1 smaller than or equal 9. I have to find the solution sets mean find the value of x and put it inside brace. If you look here, 3 smaller than or equal to x plus 1 smaller than 9. I wanted to find the solution set. So only you have to do put the x in one side and all the number in the other side. So here, if you look here, you have here times and plus. So I, I have to move in one first, but it will go to this side or to this side. If it's like this, you will tell me that the one go to is nine. And if I hide this, you will tell me that the one will go to the three. But if you have two sides, so the one will go to the two side. So it will be here, three, and here put the one. Here plus, so it will go to both sides by minus. Smaller than 2x, smaller than or equal 9 minus 1. And you know that 3 minus 1 is 2, smaller than or equal 2x, smaller than or equal 9 minus 1 is 8. Here I want to get out of these two, so divide all of them by 2. So 2 will go to both sides by divided. So I have here to write 2 over 2, smaller than or equal. Here, x smaller than or equal 8 over 2. Here, 2 over 2 is 1. And here, smaller than or equal x smaller than or equal 8 divided 2 is 4. So, this is when I solve this equation, the x is between 1 and 4. But here, I need to find the solution set of this. So, I have to put the answer in place. First thing, if like this, ask yourself the two questions. The first question, and one is with you, yes, because here I have equal. And I need all the numbers greater than one. All the numbers greater than one. So I have to take, first take a one, because here I have equal, and take two, three, four, five, and so on. But if you look to the other side, you have another condition. You, you are smaller than or equal four. Then I have to stop two. Add 4 because I am smaller than 4 and here also I have equal. So I have to start to with 1 and stop at 4. So my solution set will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's move to example number 3. Example number 3 is said if I have a dash whose coordinate is 7 and negative 2, is the energy of a by translation whose rule is xy such as that? x minus 3 and y plus 1. I need to find the a. Here you have a point. When I transfer it by this rule, I have, it, uh, I have here a dash, which is 7 and negative 2. Look first. Do you have here the point a? No, we need to, from you to find the a. So you have to let a such that any, any point consists of two coordinates, x and y. So I have here x and y. So I, I let a that consists of x and y, so you have to find x and y to find the point a. So here I let the point a, x and y. We said before, if you have something like this and you want to solve this, we say, put the point plus its rule, it must give you to the image. Again, we said before, if you put the point plus your rule, this is give you your image. Let's point. Let's put the point. I don't know it. I need to find it. It will be x and y. Plus the rule. Our rule, he said to me, x minus 3, y plus 1. So my rule is negative 3 in x and 1 in y. Give you an image. The image here is a dash, which is 7 and negative 2. 7 and negative 2. Let's find this. We say if you have something like this, you have to solve it like the equation. Put the x's in one side and the all and the y and solve it in the other side. Let's solve here. Look here. You have here x. This is the x coordinate and this is the x coordinate. So if you look to the x coordinate, x plus here negative 7, negative 3, sorry, equal in the other side 7. This is the equation of x. Let's find the equation of y, then we will solve these two equations. 
Here, y coordinate plus y coordinate will give you y coordinate is a second sign, so it will be here y plus here one equal in the other side negative two. So here I have two equations to find from them x and y. If you look to the first one here, if you look here, positive negative will be negative. Then I have to get 3 in the other side, so it will be 7 plus 3. 3 goes to the other side, it's negative, so it will be positive, so it will be 10. So x will be equal 10. Here I found the coordinate of x, which is 10. Let's find the coordinate of y. Here y plus 1 equal negative 2. y and 1 will go to the other side negative 2 and will go to is minus because it's positive so it will be y equal negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 so this is the coordinate of y and this is the coordinate of x so here it's easy to find point a point a we let it as x and y value of x is 10 and value of y is negative 3 so this is the coordinate of the point a which is 10 and negative 3 Let's move to example number 4. Example number 4 is said, calculate the area of a circle whose circumference is 44 cm, where the y is 22 percent. Here, I need an area. All of us know that area of a circle equal y r power 2. And the y equal 22 over 7, so my problem here is in radius. I have to find the radius. If you look here, he gives to me circumference. Here, I have a circumference. Circumference is 44. You know that from junior 5, I have two rule for circumference. So if you need circumference and you have a diameter, all you have to make by times the diameter. And if you need and if you need circumference and you have a radius, all you have to make 2 times by times r. Here I need a radius, so I have to use the second one, which is like this. Circumference 2 by or I here I will use the second rule which is circumference equal 2 by r because I need a radius and here I need a circumference so and here I have a circumference so I have to use this rule 2 times by times r if you look here you need a radius hide the radius by your finger so the radius will be circumference over 2 by so the first thing I have to find the radius it will be circumference over 2 by Circumference is 44 cm over 2 times the boy. My boy is 22 over 7. If you put 44 over 2 times 22 over 7, it will give you 7 cm. So here I have radius is 7 cm. Now it's easy to find the area because the area equal boy or bar The boy is 22 over 7 times radius we find the radius is 7 so it will be 7 power 2 if you put 22 over 7 times 7 power 2 in your calculator it will be 154 here radius in centimeter so it will be centimeter and because it's area it will be centimeter square let's move to example number 5 example number 5 is said the perimeter of a base of cube is 28 centimeter I need to find its lateral area, lateral surface area, and the total area, total surface area. As we said before, to find the lateral surface area of a cube is area of one face times four. And the total area or the total surface area of cube is area of one face times six. So you have here to find area of one face. Area of one face, it's a like cube, it's a bit like a square. So you have to find if you have a side or a diameter. If you look here, the perimeter of the base, it's a base like a square, it's a perimeter is 28. Can you find the sign for, of this square if you know it's a perimeter? Of course, you have, of course, yes. If you have a perimeter and you need a side, so the side will be equal perimeter divided by 4. If you need a side, so it will be perimeter divided by 4. Perimeter is here 28, so it will be 28 divided 4. Of course, 28 divided 4 is 7 centimeter. So here the side is 7 centimeter. Now, of course, you can find the area of one face. Area of one 
face. Each face is like a square. Area of a square is side times side. It will be 7 times 7 is 49. Don't forget the measuring unit is centimeter square because it's area. And the side is 8 centimeter. Now here I find the area of one face. So it's easy for you to find the lateral surface area. Lateral surface area is area of one face. Time is 4. Here the area of one face, you find it's 49. Time is 4. When you put 49 times 4 in your calculator, it will be 196. So it will be here 196, and the measuring unit is centimeter squared. This is the total surface area. And if you, might, if you need the total surface area, total surface area equal area of one face. But time is 6 because total faces are 6. Area of one face, here we have the area of one face is 49. So it will be 49 times 6. When you put 49 times 6 in your calculator, it will be 294. It will be 294 centimeters squared. So here, my lateral area is 196 and my total area is 294. After finishing this example, we have reached to our end. Thank you and see you next time.